Andrew Cuomo gave his state of the state yesterday. Some people have called him Andrew Quovid. Uh, it's very mean, but pretty, pretty true. With Andrew Cuomo, he has now handled the virus worse than any governor in the country. He has kept the state closed. He sent six people into nursing homes. He's wasted the vaccine. He didn't prepare correctly. He called in resources they didn't need. Cuomo is now saying, after being closed up, closed up, closed up, all to no avail, leads the country almost is in the top three for death and death rate on coronavirus. Cuomo now says, fellas, we can't stay closed. We simply cannot stay closed until the vaccine hits critical mass. The cost is too high. We will have nothing left to open. We must reopen the economy, but we must do it smartly and safely. Did President Trump write Cuomo's speech there? Did, did a Daily Wire writer write Cuomo's state of the state? What have we been saying now for months and months and months? We've said, you have to reopen. If you don't reopen, soon there's not going to be anything to reopen. Many, of, and it kills me. I'm a New Yorker myself, born and raised. Many of the great establishments of New York are not going to reopen. I think it's, some, it's expected that the majority of restaurants in New York are not going to reopen. Very sad what he's done to a generally speaking beautiful and vibrant city. And now Cuomo says, now we got to reopen. Yeah, because your policy didn't work, because your lockdown policy didn't work, because your vaccine rollout certainly didn't work. It was a complete disaster. It, Andrew Cuomo, because of his stupid policies, not only got grandma killed, you know, not only got, thankfully not my grandmothers, but lots of people's grandmothers killed in New York. But Andrew Cuomo is now wasting the vaccine because he put policies into effect that said that if healthcare workers did not follow his guidelines for exactly who to give the vaccine to, they could be fined. They could face very steep punishments. So do you know what was happening? Healthcare workers were throwing out the vaccine because they didn't want to face the state government penalties. Finally, now Cuomo is lifting that extremely idiotic regulation too. But, but while everyone's focusing on that part of the state of the state, I actually want to focus in on another statement, which I think did not get the kind of coverage it should, but it tells you exactly what the left is after with these onerous and draconian lockdown policies. Today, I'm speaking in person with a small group, but broadcasting, Zooming and streaming. And in this new and different world, the audience is actually larger, not smaller. Technology and technology-based relationships, work from home, these are new realities that will have dramatic consequences. This next year, we will see economies realign and reset around the world. We see the risk and the peril, but we also see the promise and the potential. The question to be answered is what will we make of this moment? Is it positive or is it negative? Do we move forward or do we move backward? Is America, is New York stronger or weaker in the post-COVID world? Those, my friends, are the questions that we alone will answer in 2021 because the future is in our hands. America and New York will be stronger in the post-COVID world if we run these lunatic sociopath politicians out on a railway line. And they will be weaker in the post-COVID world if we follow what these people want to do. The left does not want to go back to normal. The left wants this to be the new normal. Andrew Cuomo just stated it explicitly. He said, look, usually we have an audience. Usually I'm accountable to people in the audience. Usually I have to answer questions from people who are live. But uh, now they're all on Zoom. Isn't that so much better? I'm reaching more people. First of all, I don't really see how that's the case. You could easily have a Zoom camera going while having people in the room. You're just giving people more opportunities and not everybody uses Zoom. I assure you, my grandmother does not get on Zoom uh, every single day, does not know what Zoom is. My grandmother in New York doesn't, doesn't use a computer. And I think that's true for a lot of people. So no, I don't think it's, it's uh, the way forward is to limit spaces that people get to interact with their politicians. No. What about working from home? He says, this is the new reality. You're all going to start working from home. Say business is a lot of money on office space. You just work, work, work. It, it worked very well. 
I read one study that said that people are working more, actually. You think that when people work from home, they would work less. Actually, productivity has increased in many places. That's the new reality, is it? You know, there's a, a theory going, or speaking of all these sort of Gnostic theories going around the internet, they say that COVID is the great reset. And this is supposed to be some grand conspiracy theory. It's not a grand conspiracy theory. The guy's talking about it right there. He says, we're going to reset. But it's going to be a re, the economies are going to realign. They're going to reset based on what happened with COVID. We're going to have new norms for society and that's it. We're not going to gather as often as we want to. We're going to be on Zoom. We're going to be wearing masks. So certainly when we travel, we're going to be wearing masks a whole lot more. We're not going to see people smiling faces. We're going to muzzle ourselves out in, in public. We're going to work from home much more. Not going to go in and see people at the office. Not going to go have human interaction. Just lock ourselves away in our rooms and Zoom all day long. Does that sound like a fulfilling life? Does that sound like the kind of society you want to live in? Not me. Not me. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button so everyone waiting through the wasteland of YouTube knows that we've got the absolute top content out there.